Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. This is Lorelai, and I am joined once again by Uprising Attorney. Hi. Hi. I'm always late with that. No, don't worry about it. Alright, so Tamlin has decided to kind of go fuck off over in this direction. What's up, dude? This place makes me nervous. Oh god, that turnaround. I know. How did you know all that about the statue, by the way? I saw a picture of it in one of those old books the Keeper never lets anyone touch. Why did you touch it him? It was one of the old gods. The Keeper called him a friend of the dead. Sounds unfriendly. Uh, friend of the dead? What does that mean? He was a guide who took people across the spirit land to their final rest in the beyond. Was that Falun He wasn't an evil god. Not like Fenhero, the great wolf. It doesn't seem well, right that a place so... Why did you need to clarify the Great oh. Wolf? I also know of the Great Wolf. I am also a Dalish... El I mean, I know it's for our benefit because we're the players and this will be like our ex first exposure to it. But how could walking corpses be here? Uh, well, I mean, clearly someone died and there are clearly demons. Haran yeah. Bible once said that in places where many people died, it can become Seth and Aaron, a land of waking dreams. The veil becomes weak and spirits slip into our world. Huh. Then they possess corpses and walk around. <laughs> I love the way his mouth moved. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You think many elves died here? There's certainly enough bones. Maybe nobody was left to bury them. Let's press on. I want to know how our people were involved with this. All right. Uh, you said something about a veil? I'm no storyteller. All I remember of the Haran's tales is that a veil separates our world from the spirit world. He said that spirits are jealous of us and always try to steal our souls. They want to be like us so badly they'll even possess our dead, which drives them insane. Huh. But for them to enter our world, the veil must be weak. Is that why this place feels so strange? I don't like that idea. No, I don't like that either. That sounds bad. Um, I, I don't want to dismiss that because we just saw walking ghosts or walking corpses. We so. saw walking skeletons. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't like that idea. Neither do I. All right, let's keep going. Lead on, Lethalon. Stop calling me that! Yeah, that's bad. Alright, let's see. Can I go behind this thing? I can. Let's raid the sarcophagus! Because that's good. And there's a chest up there, but I don't think I want to go up Not there. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Alright, so... This is a thing. This important looking thing. Kind of looks important. Maybe. It's beautiful. I wonder what the writing says. Probably don't touch. It's probably ancient, old, and possibly dangerous. <laughs> it says it right there. Don't touch the glass. Don't touch the glass. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, do not touch the glass. <laughs> uh, maybe the keeper might be able to translate it, you think? Yeah. That's, that's the responsible thing. Let's go back to the keeper and let them know about this. All right. The keeper might be able to translate it. Maybe, but she's not here to help us. Ah, that it isn't broken like everything else, especially with that bear lumbering around in here. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't. Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Um. Yeah, get away from it, Tamlin. Like, don't. Do not. Maybe it was you, Tamlin. Get you away know. from it, Tamlin. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again. No. Okay. Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. No! I just need to take a closer look. No, no, you don't! You do Bro. not! That is not what you need to do! It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city. Underground. Don't touch it! And there's a great black. Dude! My dude. How does this not tip you off? It saw me! Help! I can't run away! Oh shit! And that was Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I hope you enjoyed this little foray. Okay. Roll credits. I know, right? <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello? I am hey. very sorry. 
Wait, wait, really? Yes, really. That dude. You know, from the yeah, introduction. Yeah, already? Yeah. You'll see. Wink. I, I will see. Oh, she was standing inside the bench. <laughs> I love Bioware. I know. You're awake. You've the god's own luck, Lethalon. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Uh... Wow, yeah. his name is similar to Fenharel. I know, probably an intentional reference, but... Um... I'm kind of worried. Where is Tamlin? Because that was, uh, he was closer to that thing than I was. Yep. Worried. Where is Tamlin? I don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of him. Uh... There was a human? A Shem brought you back two days ago. Two days? You don't remember him? Yeah! <laughs> uh... I don't remember anything. I was in a cave. Then... Nothing. He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. Alone? He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Um... Outside, though. This a, these are all good questions. Um, is anyone looking for Tam? Because that would be my first concern if the person that I was with is missing. Yeah. Is anyone? Especially since you were supposed to be like watching him. Yeah, that would be the other thing. Of course, most of the hunters are off looking for him right now, but the keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. Okay. Someone's in trouble. Shit. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. It looks hmm. like she has a question mark on her staff. It does, actually. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I am curious about the human, but I'm sure that we'll find out more about that. What happened to us, I think, is probably the more... Qu better question here. Yeah. What happened to us? I know only that the Grey Warden found you in front of a strange cave, sick and alone. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? Uh, walking corpses, spiders, and bears, but... I mean, we did find a darkspawn sword. Yeah. There are walking corpses and other strange monsters, but <laughs> that's literally what I said. Um, I think five. Yeah, because that's literally what I just said right now. So yeah, you not... literally said that. Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not dark spawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? What is the last thing you remember? Um, flash of white? Uh, okay. Yeah. Amir, Tamlin touched it. Because, again, I would say from her perspective, the more important thing would be focusing on Tamlin. Yeah. A mirror. And it caused all this. I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke. But there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Uh... Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn. But we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Okay. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, Dalin? Without you, we will not find it. Um... I-I-I'm kind of interested in going back there anyway. Especially if Tamlin is still missing, so... Mm -hmm. I am up to it, Keeper. I feel fine. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find <gasps> Tamlin if you can, but do it <laughs> swiftly. I know, you hear Meryl and you perk up. This is a character that is moderately recurring through the series, but we are not going to spoil anything about Meryl now, are we? <laughs> okay. 
Um, I, I am gonna spoil that I love Meryl. Uh, the clan is leaving. Eh? Yeah, I'd be kind of curious about that too. The clan is leaving? I mean, technically I suppose a human found us, but... Well, if there is any truth to what Duncan said, then Darkspawn may show up in these parts soon. We must get away from that horde. Ooh. But that is not our only concern. Did you encounter any other humans out in the forest? A little, yes. Heck um, yeah. Three of them. We drove them off. Although you hurt no one, these humans roused their nearby village against us. Oh, good. As ever, should have killed them. Our people are not welcome here. We have stayed too long, and we must move on quickly. So basically, it still kind of plays out the same way, I think, regardless of what you do to the humans. You spare them completely, and you send them on their way, and they're like, They, they scared us! They're spooky! Um, I think they do the same thing whether or not you kill them all, or... Like, I mean, like, if you kill them all, then, like, you know, no problem, but... Well, I feel like if you killed them, then it would have been like, Oh, they didn't come back. Yeah, that would be the other side of that, wouldn't it? Um... So, you're gonna let those Shemlin drive us off? Our clan could slaughter their entire village if we cared to. But at the cost of bringing their king's rage down on our heads. These people are simple, and have simple fears. This is their land, so we will go peacefully. That's actually pretty fair. Yeah. Um, are you not interested in the ruins and the mirror? I would be lying if I said I was not. But whatever knowledge lies in that cave is not worth our children. I send you back with hopes of finding Tamlin, and that is all. Just Tamlin? Why do you want me to take Meryl? Meryl knows a degree of my magic. Tamlin's chances of surviving the journey back are greater with her help. I also wish for Meryl to see this cave and mirror. She has a sense for these things, and could shed light on the nature of this illness. Interesting. But doesn't Meryl risk getting ill as well? You I mean, it's in her name. And Meryl will, too. Yeah. Still, be careful. Should you come upon this strange mirror again, do not touch it. Okay, you said don't touch it. Does that include licking it? <laughs> All right. Take Meryl to the cave and find Tamlin. I understand. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. Now, you say quickly, but does that mean that I can still wander around camp for a little bit? Yeah, um, can I, like, get groceries? Yeah. I have questions about this Grey Warden, because, you know, I, now that I've completely ignored his presence up until this point. When Tamlin's life is at stake? Oh. <laughs> Very well. I love that! It's so fucking passive-aggressive. Oh, when Tamlin's life is at stake? Okay, I guess. Um, I thought the Grey Wardens had disappeared. Not quite, Dalen. After they defeated the Darkspawn long ago, the Grey Warden's numbers diminished greatly over the centuries. It seems the humans have little use for them if Darkspawn aren't actively raising their lambs. I suppose the thought of Darkspawn returning one day did not occur to them. Hmm. And have they returned? The Grey Warden thinks so. A war may be in the offing. If so, we must get as far away from it as possible. You know, I understand that. That's actually probably a very smart idea. But also, could we not help in the battle? Let the humans fight their battles, as we must fight our own. But wouldn't the Darkspawn technically be a threat against all of us? Yeah, aren't they? Didn't you just say they're coming here? Yeah. Well, we're moving on, so that's not going to be an issue for too long, I suppose. But, um, why, why, why did you believe anything the Shemlin said? He seemed honorable, and his care for your safety speaks well of him. I trust my judgment. Okay. How did he know where to bring me? That's also a very good question. He said he had been looking for our clan and had a hint of our whereabouts. As I said, you were fortunate. It is possible he sought a volunteer to join their order. So interesting thing. Duncan is indeed running around trying to find people and your choice of origin basically is where he chooses to go. That's kind of that's a kind of an important thing to bear in mind. All of the origins have one thing in common: the main characters are put into a situation of life or death. The main difference is, do you choose to guide their guide them out of it again? Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that they all actually happen. It just depends on like 
if Duncan goes there, and that depends on it, who the warden is. Yep, basically. Well, you say the warden. Shoosh, spoilers. <laughs> well. Yeah. I, I know that in all, I mean, at this point, it's quite a few years old. It, it's almost 10 years old. If you have not played this game, I recommend it. But yes, shoosh. <laughs> right. Guess I'll die. Oh, God, no. All right. Dalish have joined these Grey Wardens before. Indeed. The Grey Wardens once consisted of the best from all races. I know of no Dalish joining them since the days of the Darkspawn Wars, however. What if he asks for one now? It would be a great honor, though I don't know why any Dalish would choose such a life. Regardless, he has not asked. Hmm. Are these Wardens great warriors? They are the best and most noble of all races, Dalen. Few can achieve their standards. I, I'm i not going to say too much in terms of spoilers here, but I will say that I love how much that opinion changes in the following games. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I have no more questions about the Grey Warden. Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin, quick. No, no, no. I have other questions. Um, well, actually, this whole episode has been questions, and we're actually almost out of time. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of questions when it comes to the Dragon Age games. There's a lot of dialogue and lore building, and this is kind of important. Um, but, yeah, we, we'll, we'll wrap up these questions, and then we'll probably call it a video, I think. So, um, I am curious about these Darkspawn you mentioned. Remember that Tamlin needs your help. Yes, yes, I get it. Um, didn't the Grey Wardens destroy the Darkspawn long ago? They destroyed the last horde of Darkspawn to threaten the surface centuries ago. It doesn't mean they extinguished them all. Uh, you think this cave was a Darkspawn lair? Darkspawn are savage, uncultured creatures. More Rude. akin to locusts than men. They may have befouled the cave, but they did not build what is there. Okay. From the Warden's description, it may have been a temple devoted to an old god. Should we return? I may see it for myself. Hmm. Or maybe not go anywhere near it, given what happened when we went near it. Uh, why, why did the Grey Warden think I had met a Darkspawn? Darkspawn are filthy, diseased beasts that taint the very air around them. The Grey Warden seemed to think your illness came from this taint. Since you the did taint, not meet huh? any Darkspawn, I don't see how that could be. No doubt he was mistaken. Clearly he was mistaken. What is a Darkspawn exactly? I've never seen one before. They are mostly boogeymen, used to frighten human children. In modern times, they are rarely seen on surface lands. But rumor holds the great numbers dwell in the ancient tunnels of the Duganland, the dwarves. They obliterate all that is in their path. Again, I know like what dwarves are. Like a of locusts, they spread disease and misery when they come to the surface. An event to be feared, without doubt. Could that bear-like monster have been a darkspawn? Hmm. The old tomes say Darkspawn come in as many varieties as surface creatures. They also say that many Darkspawn are seen only during what the humans call a blight. Perhaps your bear monster was one of those. Possibly. But I'm done with the then fucking do Darkspawn. Not carry. Find Tamlin quickly. But I have more questions! I need more equipment before I go. Master Island can help you. Go to him and ask to see his stuff. Okay. Goodbye, Keeper. Search parties have been looking for Tamlin since the Grey Warden brought you back. No luck so far. Hmm. So, even just hitting tab, you can see all of these things that light up. All sorts of people, all sorts of things to explore. So there's a scroll next to this person. And pulling up the codexes, again, they actually help with, um... I'm just filling up the inventory. They help with, like building like the world lore and stuff like that as well as they give you experience which also helps towards leveling what's up lawyer how could tamlin be lost he knows this area well who sits like that <laughs> hey you were standing up inside of this before i'm glad you survived losing two of our young would be a great blow to the clan you she sounds a lot younger than she looks i know right i was just about to comment that oh hey uh reason to have lock picking as a skill uh that <laughs> there and if, you were, if you were not, in fact, a, a uh, rogue with lockpicking skill, then you actually get locked out of these things. Oh, I can't. Let's get started. Not possible to pick. Like that. Well, that's that is literally you're not supposed to be able to pick it anyway. Oh, no, let's steal these five coppers because that's that's important. Book. All right. So 
That's Pyvel, and we'll probably talk with him in a moment. Why do we have to leave again? We're always going somewhere. Why can't I go to the Shem City? Because so. you don't want to. Trust me. All right. Well, there's plenty here to go around and explore, but that's going to have to be on another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, where we're probably going to be talking with this guy over here and exploring more of the camp. And actually, and maybe uh, finding Tamlin. And maybe yes. finding Tamlin. I mean, we'll, we'll maybe we'll find him. It is kind of important, maybe a little bit. Anyway, hope to see you then.